coffee. I'm gonna do something a little different today. On my shelf up here, and that little green bucket, I got a bit of a surprise. I gotta see if I can get her down. Oh my goodness, I got too much crap everywhere. Oops, knocking stuff over. All right, see if I can get this down with one hand. It's not the lightest. Oh, it is pretty light. Oh, jeez. Knock the stuff down. Okay. Oh. Okay. Still rolling. Okay. So this is something cool. Take a look at this. This is a brand new engine. Look at brand new. Still look at come with all the gaskets and uh, the keys and everything for the crank. Yeah, so the brand new engine, never been used. The thing is built for like high powered kart racing. It screams to like over 8,000 RPM. And has 10 horsepower. It's a two-stroke. I can't remember displacement. But anyways, single cylinder, obviously, two-stroke, 10 horsepower. Made in, let's see if I can find this. Oh, look at this. All the manuals. All right, so I do have the manual here. Like I said, still brand new. Like the stickers of like the fuel mixture and the exhaust gasket and... All the keyway stuff. Fortunately, the date's not on here. That's, that's the date? This engine was originally made in uh, 1961. So, essentially, this is a brand spanking new engine. Never used. That is 60 years old this year. 60 year old engine. That's just been sitting around, never used. So, um... Yeah, I thought it would be really fun. See if I can get her set up a bit, and we'll see if a brand new six-year-old engine will start right up. Um, huge shout-out to my neighbor, John, for uh, giving this to me. Uh, I would have paid him for it, but because he's such an awesome dude, good friend of mine, he said, you want to have some fun with it, you go have some fun with it. And uh, just kind of an IOU next time. He needs something, so that's really cool. And... Uh, yeah, so um, obviously we got a uh, crank here, and I don't know if those are mountain holes, but I got to get this thing pulled out and put on my bench and see if we, we can figure out a way to get her stood up and see if we can get fuel to her. See if like one crank, she'll fire it up. So I don't know, guys. This is new to me, but uh, let's see what will happen. All right, so I kind of got her set up on my just my bench vice here. It, uh you see the wood back there. I was a little worried about it rubbing the crank, but it actually looks fine. I just tighten the screws, make sure they're real tight. I'm not gonna run it long, so it should be fine. But yeah, so just tighten her in the vise. I think she's fine. I gotta find how to get fuel to my carb, and I need to see if I got some mixed gas somewhere. Uh, and yeah, I'm a little worried about, I don't know, since it's been sitting so long, I wonder if I should try to put some oil in there quick. Just to lube everything up, maybe put it in the top here on the piston. I don't know. What would you guys do? Would you put a little bit of oil in there, try to make sure she's all good and lubed before trying to start it? Or just trying to go, maybe, maybe I'll just put my gas, my mixed gas up to it and just turn it over a bunch. I probably won't pull much fuel in though. No suction. I don't know. What would you guys do? I think I'm going to put just a couple... Couple little drips in there or on the side. You see, cause this is a two stroke. This is actually the exhaust manifold. And so that right there, that actually looks like the wrist pin of a piston. Yeah. So you're looking at the piston, you can see the piston there and there in the middle. And right, uh, that little half circle. See if I can pull this, if you'll see the piston move. That should be the piston, I'm assuming. I'm not like a, yeah, look at that. Oh. Whoa. That's actually really cool. You see the rings and everything. 
I am no expert when it comes to two strokes at all. Um, but yeah, on this thing, I got this thing right here. I think I need to ground that. I'm guessing that is what will kill the engine. So you ground it, use it as a switch. And if it's ground, then you'll get spark. But if you unground it, you don't get spark. Yeah, I don't know. Again, um, uh, this is very new to me. So, you know, if I do something really wrong, you know, just scream at me in the comments. That'd be perfect. And uh, it's freezing cold in this garage. So do me a favor. Support me. Give me a like. You know, maybe subscribe. That'd be awesome. So let's see if I can figure out a way to get fuel to it. All right, so looking at this, uh, this is where the spark plug goes. This is the, the magneto, or whatever, whatever the system is that makes a spark plug fire uh, for like a carburetor engine, whatever. I don't know nothing about it, but looking over, first I thought this was the little line I was looking at, but it's not. That's under the cover. Looks like it's this, I believe, actually. This is that extra line sitting there that I think I'm supposed to ground, and I was going down. That's number 11. So right there, it is ground lead. So we're hoping that's what it is. We're hoping I'm right. And uh, yeah, we're just going with it. So cool that actually I got this whole manual as well for like all the pieces, starter, magneto, you know, the carburetor, like the whole kit and caboodle. Fan freaking fantastic. Look at this. Man, this is cool. That's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna try to find a way to ground that. I'm not really sure how. I might just put like a little clamp on it for now. Uh, and yeah, I gotta find fuel. I gotta figure out how to do fuel. Give me a sec. All right, I think I got this figured out. I'll show you here quick. So I just got a lead on that line and it goes yada, yada, yada to there. So if something goes wrong, I can quickly just pull those off. And then this isn't really fuel line, but who cares? It's the line I had in the right size. And I cut a hole, just a little bit smaller, stuck her in there. It looks like she's a little wet, gonna leak a bit, but who cares? And I found some two stroke gas, some mixed gas. Don't know how old it is, don't know the mixture. What do you do? So, you know, she's flowing through, please don't leak. Looks decent. Yeah, it looks real decent. You see her there? Okay. I don't know if that filled up the bowl or not. But, uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit. Going to be a little bit in the hose at least. Hopefully get her started. Uh, yeah. See if I can set you guys up here. Fingers crossed, guys, that we can get this thing to go. Oh, she's a hard pull. Something doesn't seem right. Man, she's a super hard to pull. Uh, oh, maybe I should turn, uh, turn the choke on. Huh. I don't know why she's so hard to pull. Like, I guess she's got good compression, but I feel like it shouldn't be that hard to pull. Maybe I will try to lube the cylinders a little bit. Get some oil in there. One sec, guys. I lubed it up a bit. It seems to turn over a little better. I'm going to set you guys up here where I can't really see what the screen looks like. All right, I set you guys up so hopefully you can see. And uh, now you're not on the table, so that probably doesn't help the pulling as well just because there's so much movement in the table that I had it on here, my workspace, that, uh, you know, it feels like it's harder. But, uh, yeah, it almost looks like this carburetor might be leaking a bit. But who knows, when it's this old, let's see what we can do. All right. Oh! Something just doesn't feel right.
Oh, I heard it. Okay, guys, so sound like it started to once or twice there. It's getting better to pull. I'm standing on a bucket here to get a better angle at this thing. It seems to be helping. But I might kill myself. Here we go. Oh. The bowl looks full. Yeah, the bowl definitely looks full. So there should be have plenty of fuel here. All right, come on, girl. Let's see what you got. I'm going to give myself a hernia. I don't know guys, it might not be today. I'm trying my hardest here, but it's also really freaking cold out there. Alright, so still no luck. I played with the adjuster screws a little bit, applied to some Instagram messages. And uh, I don't know. We'll try this again. I caught some of my breath back, but still kind of pooping from it. It's only been like two minutes. But hey, sometimes two minutes is all you need. And I closed the garage door thinking oh, I need to get warm in here, but I kind of get a good angle on it, so this seems to be way better. Sounds close. So much stuff has fallen off my bench. Just clean some of this up. Alright, well she's gonna gas, we know that for sure now. Oh. Come on. Are they eating you? Oh. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Couldn't get Gordon yesterday. Well, Actually, I am officially an idiot. So, I thought this was supposed to be grounded, and then when you take it off, it dies. But, you see, this is different. What I thought I'd do at the end of the day there is I'd take this off, take this off so it wouldn't start, put a bunch of lube in it because it was so hard to turn over, and just put a drill on it, let her spin over, and hopefully get her all lubed up and nice and turn it over nice whatever i don't know i thought that might be good for it so i take this off take this off put the drill on the crank turn it over and boom she went for like two seconds the bowl was like pretty much empty at that point just yeah um so it's only like half a second she took off but of course reverse thread on the crank it was just enough i even pulled the bolt off the crank and fell off and thankfully thankfully nothing moved around and i think it's still all good um but yeah so now next day it was pretty late so i didn't want to turn the camera on and then film me starting it again because obviously super loud um so now i turn this just the other way so have a better angle on it let's put some fuel in it and uh, Let's try this again. All right, should I try it again? Choke. I'm going to try it one more time. Oh, that's 
stuff falling off my bench here. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to call that in. I'm calling that started. Oh, all right, I'm gonna close this garage door. I think it's warmer outside than it is in my garage, but there you go, guys. Uh, that's the garage door. All right, there you go, guys. If you like this, it's a little something different this time. All right, thanks for sticking to the end of the video, everybody. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. I'll get back to the 300s at X's real soon here, but. Uh, I'll do something a little different for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this little engine and stuff that I want to do with it, maybe build a little cart for it, have some fun with it, let me know. Uh, I could make a project out of that for sure, a little video series. It would be a lot of fun. So if you want to see more of it, let me know. If you want me to get back to the 300s, I'm doing that no matter what. But tell me anyways if you want me to do more 300 stuff anyways uh, as well. English is a difficult language for me, even though it's the only one I know how to speak. So yeah, have a great day guys and uh, see you on the next one.